what's happening guys what's happening what's happening what's happening <clears throat> hope you guys are well uh beautiful beautiful uh season to actually be in the markets uh, i'm going to pick up from the last videos that we did i'm going to do lesson number 10 on the currencies uh, maybe just uh remove these let me just remove these um, and this is following through from what we did so this video will be um, titled index so the reason why i'm recording this video is to help you guys understand that whenever you're trading there are tools that can help you predict where the market is going so if you look at how uh, this so this is the us dollar currency index right so this is what we use to measure the strength of the dollar so if, if uh, the usd um, index actually goes down then euro usd will go up and the dusd will go up AUD usd will go up and obviously usd CAD will drop usd jpy will drop usd CHF will drop so all the usd currency based pairs will follow the index and obviously um, opposite of um, this is true as well so euro usd goes up if the index goes down and i'm going to go to the euro dollar chart as well to show you so look at how the market was actually ranging around here and look at how the index had actually been ranging around there so this is the opposite of what's happening on the euro so this is the exact opposite look at that drop and then rise and then the market was ranging look at this this was actually a rise and a drop and then the market was ranging so this actually moves the same way as the index but obviously in the opposite direction and let's go to usd cad as well so we do have an exactly similar structure look at this range 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 and then drop pull back and we're now dropping based on um how the index is performing so the index is set to drop and obviously usd cad will drop as well euro usd will be rising simply because of how the index is actually set up so let's go back to the index right so the index moves in percentages so we do have 100 percent 97 97.5 percent we do have 95 percent so this is how i measure the index and this is how i analyze the index so i will be looking at during the major key levels on the index the same way i draw uh, my levels on currency so the same way i would draw my levels on currencies would be exactly the same way i draw my levels on the index so let's look at what the index is doing right now we can see that on the daily we failed to break above this 97.50 level for the past one two three four five days we did fail to break above that level so obviously the next possible move that we have on the index will be this level that we have over there so we do have that level there so let me just not let me use a different tool actually i'm going to be using that arrow tool because this, this is what i've been doing uh through ads if you really look at the previous price i've been using this tool to actually measure out um the next possible levels that we have on the index so i'm going to be copying and pasting that and from there we do have this level over here so we do have that support level let me just make it shorter because this will be a level that can be easily broken so we do have this level on the index so you can see that okay we do have like upper levels over there and obviously if you wanted to get like a clear indication of where the market would turn you would obviously draw that level over there using both wigs to basically get that level you can see that we came to spike literally around right about that level this would have been a beautiful area for a pending order if you are trading an index so that would have been like a beautiful level for your pending order sorry about that i'm gonna go to the four hourly so for hourly looks beautiful as well you can see that we actually came to spike literally at that level and you can see that okay the next available support region that we have is basically around there maybe to just modify this on the, the h4 so that's fine uh, you can see that okay we do have the support level which is the next support level that we had so if you notice when i started the video i did have this level over there marked out over there because what i had expected is that we are going to close below this level and then after that close then we get a clean retest of which did happen if you go to the to the 60 minute time frame 
uh, you can see that we did kind of like get a retest on that level and if we do pull back again this will be a pullback that comes straight to that level this is a clean market breakdown straight to that level then we get a clean drop to round about that 9650 level on the index so the index does look quite bearish uh, right now especially if you look at how the market has been setting out you do have a series of lows being created you do have a high you do have a low you do have a lower high you do have a lower low lower high and obviously lower low obviously lower high over there then we obviously have that drop to the bottom so this is how i would then use the index so right after analyzing the index and clearly seeing that the index can drop to that level this then gives me the confidence to move on to my currencies to basically understand so looking at this right looking at this the euro did come and find the support so if you remember quite well we did kind of like predict this move to the downside i think there is a video recorded of this prediction to the downside so this market did come to this level and literally spiked over they came back to tap once tap twice and then the third time again and we do see that this level was quite of like a strong um, support level and it was actually holding strongly so right now we can see that the market did break above this level for a clean retest over there beautiful retest happened and the market has just been rising from here right now we did break above this level and obviously the next possible move would be getting a clean close like this candle and possibly like a reversal pattern then we can actually start longing this market to the next available resistance and looking at the, the index you know looking at the index we can kind of like predict that the market will get to this level and then break above this level so i do favor longs for a long time on euro at least to 1450 so 1.1450 is a level that i am looking at for my bulls on the euro usd pair so this is obviously in sync with the index so what i saw on the index is what i'm now looking for on the pair right so if i go to the next one which would be usd cat so usd cat follows exactly the direction of the index that means if the index is dropping this gives me the confidence to say that this pair can actually drop so i can either come here and then put in my cells exactly where market is looking also at how the moving averages are setting up put in a cell there this will be my first tp over here which is slightly around about 60 uh, 70 pips and then my second target will be there so this is quite an interesting perspective and view so i will be risking around 30 pips for um 195 pips which is a good risk to reward ratio if you think about it so i would either wait for the market to come and tap this level here because then this is a previous resistance level all right so we do have a previous resistance level so i can either set a pending order there exactly at that level and calculate my stop nicely above that level give it a bit of room to breathe in case they try to spike above that level or even wait for a clean close at that level before you can actually uh, short this but looking at how the market has been forming you can see that we did get like a pullback to the upside and this candle is an engulfing candlestick with the moving averages both coming above price which also confirms if you if you go back to the videos you will confirm that this is confirmation for more shorts look at how the moving averages are also about to even cross on the hourly if you go to the 30 minute time frame you'll find that they've actually crossed like earlier on so obviously you would then come in and uh, sell this over here so this is what i would obviously do like i would come in with my sales there exactly where the market is come in and sell this market and my stop loss would be slightly above that previous high because i do know that if the market is set to drop then we won't get back won't go back to that high and obviously target um that lower region so this would be the first targeted level that we have in mind so that's about 193 pips and you're literally risking 20 pips so this is a good risk to reward ratio on usd cap so that's what i wanted to talk about guys using the index to basically get directional bias of the market so do enjoy uh using these 
and uh you know i hope you guys actually start winning like a lot and be blessed guys thank you see you on the next video